Assalamu alaikum. Let us continue our this topic, the story of a mom, and it is written by Padma Hajmudi. So, in previous lecture, we discussed about that the writer Hajmudi, she is not yet in this opinion whether Apamam was a sinyasi or not. Because according to the writer, Apamam's lifestyle doesn't relate it to sinyasi wood, first of all. And then second thing, Apamam's Stealing things or belongings from the family members, it also hesitates the writer whether upper mom was a senior CR not. And the Third thing, at the same time, the writer compromises with her mother's opinion that upper mom was a sinyasi. How? Because mother told her that upper mom, whenever he was taking anything from the home, upper mom never believed in worldly positions. He never believed in material life. And he gave these belongings to the needy persons. So, on this point, to some extent, the writer now was on this opinion that upper mom was a sinyasi. Today we are going to read about what upper mom's nightmare. So nightmare actually we say that a dream That is unpleasant and frightened. Darauna khab jisko hum kehte hai. So, according to the author, nightmare was upper mom's part of life. So, after three years, meditation once upper mom came to the house. So when he came, he was very tired, what else, else he was, but he called to the grandmother and after this, now he was in a sleep. So what happened? Upper mom had not only come back, he had even bought with him the 25 rupees he had taken from grandfather's disc during his last visit. So when upper mom came after uh, these uh, uh, three years, he had taken at that time some rupees, 25 rupees, and he also had taken grandfather's disc during this day. The uncles decided later that it was probably the, this extreme act of virtue which brought on the nightmare. Whatever the curse, the fact remained that grandfather woke up at midnight to find upper mom yelling some gibberish and dancing like a dervish around his bed. 
So what happened? This is the nightmare. So grandfather, he woke up suddenly and he found upper mom. He was done. He was yelling. Yelling means crying. And was also dancing around his bed. So when he was dancing and he was also uttering some gibberish. Gibberish means meaningless words. Meaningless sounds. So, upper mom, he said sharply, stop it. What do you think you are doing? Waking up everybody all this time of the night. But upper mom continued to yell. And the grandfather tried to stop him. But he could not stop. So, he continued to yell and wave his arms and dance around the bed. Upper mom. Appa grandfather said louder, Appa stop it. But Appa didn't stop. So what happened after this? He thrashed him on the back. When he thrashed him on the back, give a, uh, gave a strong blow on his uh, this back. So Appa mom stopped it. So after this, Appa sat and looked at grandfather in silence, thinking of an explanation. At last, he found it. Cats. He said cats. That is what it was. You don't keep cats. And he went back to bed. He never heard the end of it. And neither did we. There was a new game in the family. And what was the family's game? And by youngest generation is called Appa Mama's Nightmare. So this was the Appa Mama's Nightmare. And listening to the story, I felt vaguely. So when the writer had listened to this story, the writer again decided that Appa Mom was not a sannyasi. So after this, what happened? And then one day, it is the last para of this, one day Appa Mom was disciplines came. So, Apaman swallowed his coffee. So, Kupu, the maid, she informed and Apaman swallowed his coffee and said with composure, with dignity, Ah, oh, yes, my displease. Your displease? Grandmother exclaimed. We didn't know you had displease. So, because nobody believes in him, whether he was a sannyasi, whether he had gone through this meditation or not. So, it was only then we learned that Apamam had been practicing silent meditation for years near a little North Indian village where he had appeared, got a band of devotees and been revered as a saint. Reward means respected. Saint means Daravesh. As Sinyasi. But the uncle, older uncle, he had not any respect in his uh, family. He denounced it that these all are the persons who spile or rob these uh, saints. So he also suspected, he said, that how these holy men were a bunch of chore latins. Now I know for certain. Imagine anyone coming to seek a Pamam's darshan. So he also desires that he should, he would be a uh, sannyasi in order to earn money very easily. But after this, meanwhile, a Pamam finishes his breakfast quite undisturbed by the general uh, amusement and all the derogatory. Derogatory means critical and insulting comments to him. Then finally he spoke and his voice, Appa Mom's familiar, clearly 
rose voice very loud voice he he rebuked them understand this he said i have no objection of you are laughing about it at all but if you have a grain of senses in your heads don't do it in front of the displays once they have gone you can laugh at me as such as you like it will make no difference but well they are here remember they have come a long way and respect to their faith to is pair mein appam to some extent he becomes furious because he was insulted and criticizes in front of his displays and he told him them that you have no senses no doubt if you were to criticize me when my these displays uh, will go or leave the place and after that you can criticize me and whatever uh, you have to do you can do it the laughter died out to sabune hasna band kar diya stopped and there was a quiet laughter that having performed the necessary rites of purification and worship apa mom said said cross legged under the neem tree and the back of the house and saw his displays one by one so every display displays he saw one by one and then it was a band of a group of displays there were a mother with her baby old farmer a cripple a young couple a handful of children and all of them bringing some offerings of milk and coconut and wild honey and rice so apa mom blessed them and also spoke uh, to everybody with great honor with great respect so that night the author says said that from that very point i believed and that apa mom was a sinyasi but after that what happened he was said and to bed that night after the devotees had left and apa mom had come in when everybody had gone to bed and the house was silent i mentioned mentioned to my mother that i had decided apa mom was a real sinyasi after all but two days later my aunt's earrings were missing to uske baad phir aunt ke earrings missing ho gaye so was apa mom apa mom bhi isi ke sath what have not heard of him since to uske baad kuch bhi nahi dikhai gaya so this was the story about apa mom whether now the author was in opinion that apa mom was a sinyasi or not and after reading this we came to the conclusion that the writer was in opinion that apa mom was a sinyasi when his displays came but after that when the earring is missing the author again hesitated and could not decided about apa mom's sinyasi hood thanks